determine whether the sequence converges or diverges. So basically we just have to take the limit as n goes to infinity of this sequence. So we can do it two ways. We can do it just using intuition or we can actually prove it. Um, let's go ahead and prove it this time. So let's do a proof. Why not? So to prove um, that this converges, we're going to prove it's zero. And the reason I'm saying it's zero is because um, if you think about it, um, cosine here is trapped between negative one and one. And when you square it, it's always going to be smaller than one. And the bottom is getting bigger. So this should approach zero as n approaches infinity. So how are we going to prove it? We're going to use something called the squeeze theorem. So we'll start by writing down our sequence. So cosine squared of n over 2 to the n. I'm going to fix my marker. It's a little bit too thick. There we go, a little bit thinner. And this is less than or equal to 1 over 2 to the n. That's because um, cosine of n is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. So if you square it, um, you know, this is still uh, less than or equal to 1 if you square it. No big deal. And this is always greater than or equal to zero, okay? That's because um, it's being squared, so it's positive or zero. So now we take the limit of each piece over here. So let's take this limit here. Take the limit of zero and you get zero. So this will approach zero as n approaches infinity. Likewise, we take the limit over here so basically you're showing it's trapped between two other pieces that approach zero. This is also zero because two to the n is getting big when n gets big, so this fraction gets small. So basically this piece here approaches zero, this piece here approaches zero, this is trapped in the middle, therefore it must also approach zero. That's called the squeeze theorem. So then you would say the limit, so thus the limit as n approaches infinity of what's trapped in the middle is also equal to zero, and then just cite the theorem by the squeeze theorem. It's important to indicate the name so people know uh, what you're talking about. Um, even if you didn't know the squeeze theorem, this kind of argument might make sense because this is trapped in the middle, this approaches zero, this approaches zero, therefore whatever's trapped in the middle must also approach zero. So just writing it down like this and like this and then just saying this is a formality and it creates what's called a mathematical proof. I hope this video has been helpful.